Have you ever thought about writing an ebook but felt overwhelmed by the process? How did you know about that? Today, I'm going to show you how I created a self improvement and empowerment ebook quickly, but with a personal twist that makes it feel deeply human. This isn't just about writing a book, it's about creating something that connects with an audience. And I'll walk you through my exact process. The first thing I did was pick a theme that's already popular self improvement and empowerment. This is a huge market because people are always looking for ways to better themselves. But I didn't just write another generic self help book. I thank God for that. I've tried those, trust me, they don't sell. I took my personal experience, leaving a toxic religion, some would call a cult. No need to mention what religion it was because for this video, it doesn't matter. What matters is how I used my experience and turned it into something universal. Now, this isn't a book about religion or leaving a belief system. It's about what happens after a major life shift, how you rebuild, how you rediscover who you are when everything you thought you knew is gone. And this is how you make an AI assisted book feel real by layering in personal experience that no AI could ever replicate. Let me show you how I started with ChatGPT for one book, and then I was curious how it would look if I started from scratch in designer. Let me show you from the beginning how I built both of these books, and you can decide for yourself which is best for you. Let's dive in. First is always research. And when I went to Amazon, I went to, you know, best-selling books. And then you see all the things that we've seen when it comes to that self-help category, that inspirational, motivational category that I love, but it's there's a lot of books in that category. So in order to be successful in this particular category, we need to find a way to connect the audience with our unique selves and then distribute or educate in whatever we want our book to be about, but through our authentic selves. So I went over ChatGPT. I started there and I'm going to show you two different things. I'm going to show you how I started in ChatGPT, created an outline, brought it over to designer and designer formatted it for me and expanded it. Then I'm going to show you how I started exactly from the beginning, very beginning through designer and how different these books are. So first I said, identify some of the best-selling self-help books, and it did. Then I wanted some of the top themes. Okay, all looks good. Then I realized now is, now is where I need to put a personal touch on it. And this video is not about religion. It is about my personal experience after religion. So we're not going to get into those details. We're going to talk about the formatting of the book. So first I had it create, I had ChatGPT create an outline for me. And keep going. I, I actually really appreciated the outline. I gave it some direction here and there about what to change or what to expand on. And it kept on writing for me. And then I asked it to, uh, to go ahead and write the transcript. And then write the, dis the description for the Amazon cover. When I went over here to designer, I knew it was going to ask me for a Google Doc as one of the options. So let me show you. I did, um, let's create a project, an ebook. I want to do it as a Kindle ebook. And from here, I wanted to use it from a file or an existing document that I created. So here I imported the Google Doc that I downloaded from over there, there, and then I uploaded it. And then from there, I went through the natural design of this particular book. And let me show you how it ended up. I really liked this particular cover and I found it in designer. Um, as it divided up the categories for me, I noticed that I wanted it expanded a little bit more. I didn't really feel like it got into the depth of what I wanted to uh, really dive into. So I used the word genie here a bit and I just asked it to expand. So how you do that is here where you click, click on that particular area, click on edit, and then over here on the right hand side, this is where you can expand or reduce or rewrite the whole thing. So this is where I would click extend, or this is where I would fix something or fix the tone. And I went through each paragraph and that's exactly what I did. So this is the example of starting with ChatGPT and bringing it over to designer. And then I would go through each paragraph, go like this, go to edit, and then adjust through their writing prompts and through their AI program as much as I needed to. I felt like this book, while short, uh, was very to the point, very touching. It encapsulated me, my feelings, and my what I've learned from my process. And I really feel like it was an insightful book. But it was a little short. 
So that's why I felt like there could have been more to it. Someone who wants a little bit more, who's going through what I went through and wants more support through their process is going to want a longer book. So that's when I decided to start from the very beginning in designer and start with their particular AI writing. So what I did was I wanted to use their word genie from the very beginning. I came here to create and I went through the same process as the other book when I imported the document. Kindle book. I'd like to use word genie for the whole thing. Renee from the future here. Um, yes, I'm pausing my own video real quick to let you know that this is what I used to do with my students also. I would tell them, uh, don't worry about taking notes now. Sit back, relax, enjoy, inf enjoy the information, absorb the information, and then I'm gonna provide all the notes for you so that you can refer to them later. So actually, if you go to my website at reneeclancy.com, you're gonna be able to see that I've got all the notes for this video and other videos on there so you can review those later. Um, if you sign up for my newsletter, I've got a free download over there also about how to decide what side hustle is best for you. So enjoy. Again, that's ReneeClancy.com. And now so far, the topic I'm putting in here is the exact same as the other book. Now what I'm going to do is I'm, this is exactly what I did before, is I copy and pasted the title in the topic or niche and then clicked next. And it generated sub niches for me. And then, and so here I'm going to pick on the ones that really resonate with me. That happened to be all of them. I think it turned out really great. Now let's choose a title. Oh. Well, I definitely want the theme to be in the title so people know what they're getting. I want it to be more than informative. I really would like for it to be inspirational. Okay, now it's going to give me this outline so that I can proof, proofread, adjust, change as I'd like, change headings. If there's anything that is out of what I feel reflects my book. Now what it's doing here is it's actually writing the entire book for me. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on over to my original uh, test here. And this is what I wrote or what Word Genie wrote for me through this process. And as I read it, of course, there were a few things I had to change. I wanted to put in a few other personal stories. I really liked it. I felt like it expanded more on what I wanted to explain, what I wanted my book to be. The first book, where it started with ChatGPT, was just a little too simple. It was very nice. It really was. I, I enjoyed it, but um, I wanted more. And so I really feel like uh, Word Genie through Designer gave me more. It expanded more. It gave more details. It really wrote a very clear book that reflects me and what I wanted. So let's go ahead and choose a template. I need to choose a different template than the other one, but I really liked that other one. Let's see. Okay. This one is kind of the same format as that other book. And I would like for them to be con companion books for each other. So I actually really like this one. I'm going to use this template. And here it starts to build. It just imports all the pages. Now, I'm so used to writing or creating books with pictures, like coloring books and things. Like I was thinking, where are the pictures? No, there's no pictures in these. This is uh, a book people are going to read. This is an ebook, So it's a little different. Okay, just wanted to fix that front cover a little bit, make it look a little, make it really fit the theme. Okay. So I've just spent the last 30 minutes in uh, really reviewing the text, making sure it reflects me, making sure that I feel like this is something that I can put my name behind. And let's go ahead and publish. I'm going to choose the Kindle EPUB. Now let's download it and download the cover. You have to come here to download the cover and then save this. Now let's go ahead and upload. Click create. I am creating a Kindle ebook. Okay, I had ChatGPT help me with the description. Now let's go ahead and choose our categories. I feel the categories were pretty easy to determine, but I really want to make sure I nail it with these keywords. So I'm going to dive into Bookbowl and it'll help me find the keywords for this particular niche. 
Let's see here. Let's look at the ones for Amazon search volume. Now, it's okay to put uh, a few words in there, almost a sentence. That's called a long tail keyword. Okay, I've got my keywords I feel very strongly about. And let's save and continue. Upload my manuscript. And now the cover. And make sure I click that, yes, I used AI tools for the text. I did edit it, but I'm going to use it was, say it was the majority of the work. We need to be honest. I use designer and chat GPT. And you still have to come in here and select none for the others. Give it a second to launch the preview. Okay, let's launch the previewer. Hmm. Well, that's definitely not what I want the front cover to look like. I'm glad I check it. Let's come back here. So I want to re-upload the whole thing just to make sure. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to take some time, go through each of these pages just to make sure everything looks good. I'm going to price this book at about $4.95. That's it. And then I'm going to get started with my re getting reviews, possibly from some free samples out there for people to be able to use. I'm going to work on um, promoting it. I'm going to run some ads. All of the things. Remember, you can't just create something, put it out there and expect it to sell. If it does, great. But you've got to do other things usually to help it. I hope that helps you decide which avenue you would like to go through, whether starting first with ChatGPT, bringing it over to Designer, or starting directly in Designer. My vote would be to start directly in a Designer. There's no need to do both. Uh, the product that Designer created was, I feel, above and beyond what ChatGPT started me with. So I hope that helps you get started on your book. Let me know how it goes.